And one thing I really liked about them is that the average person could read it and for the most part understand it. You used what felt like personal stories to explain what was happening in the market. Now, Trump, for us, or for the average layman, is an anomaly. He is here, there, and everywhere. Can you use one of your stories to, re how do you reassure your investor, who is a layman, who all he sees is Fox News and Trump? How do you reassure us? Because we also have a saying in Jamaica that when the U.S. catches a cold, or when the U.S. sneezes, Jamaica catches a cold. And right now, you guys have a fever. <laughs> so, um, how do you reassure your layman investor? Well, first of all, can you all hear me? So, okay. Um, thank you for being a, a loyal past reader. I still write the morning letters uh, year 28, and I've been writing the morning letter. Uh, I'm going to fly back and, and do one probably tomorrow morning. Um, I've always learned since writing this. Is that better? Okay. Um, since writing the letter, I've learned you got to be really careful when it comes to politics, uh, especially even down here and now back in the States. Um, keeping that separate, we've seen an incredible market surge uh, in the last year that, that Donald Trump has been president. Um, certainly the noise and there's, there's a lot going on and it's, it's nuts. And we, we, we all know that. But, but I try and look at, and what I put in my letter is, okay, w w put the noise aside, what has gone on fundamentally and economically and who he has in his staff. Um, the problem is the staff keeps changing. Uh, it's kind of like the never ending story, but from a tax reform standpoint, from things that he did run on, um, I, I do think that he has been positive for Wall Street. Now I say Wall Street, okay? He's been positive for Wall Street. Um, where this goes and where this story ends, it's, it's anybody's guess. But from a cold standpoint, I, I think you're right. That's always been the way it was in the past when Jamaica was struggling so much. You've got an incredible government here, in my opinion, a government that I've worked well with over the years that is keeping themselves with the wind to their back and staying within those goalposts I was talking about. So I'm not so sure that the cold, if there is one, is going to be as contagious as it once was. Okay? So I'm going to leave you with that thought. That's about as political as I'm willing to get.